pace is slower, you know the kids down the street, you know the people around the corner, and we can keep people here because we have enough to not only entertain them, but to make them feel like they're invested. Pat Armstrong arrived in Yarmouth in 1986. Today, she's director of community services, proud to show off her adopted community as she guides us along the Bass River. Smuggler's Beach, originally known as Lighthouse Beach back in the 1800s, and it was one of the landing places during Prohibition where they smuggled rum into the Cape. History is preserved in a handful of homes moved to Bass River in the 1840s. Many of the homes lining the banks today are a little more elaborate. These are new homes that um, re have replaced homes, very small homes. Some people that are thrilled and others that aren't because it's starting to change the character a bit of the river. Even though Bass River is home to yachts and mansions, Armstrong says there's a place for everyone. Anyone can get here and get to the river and get their feet in the water. You can rent various size whalers for the day. It's absolutely gorgeous. How do you beat it? Gray's Beach, overlooking Cape Cod Bay. This is one of the many beautiful spots in Yarmouth. This boardwalk cuts through a salt marsh, a place to stop and take a breath and enjoy the view. The boardwalk itself adorned with messages to loved ones past and present, all of whom touched in some way by this special place. Yarmouth is special for Alan Delaney, who crossed the pond from Ireland in 1983. I really, you know, fell in love with it when I came here. My first job when I came to Yarmouth, I think I flew over on a Friday and I was washing dishes on a Saturday at the Irish Village. It was a Yarmouth restaurant where Alan found the love of his life, Amy. I heard his accent and it caught my ear and then I saw him and then I was like, oh. Thank God I had the brogue because may not have worked. <laughs> they married, started a family, then bought the Skipper Chowder House, a Yarmouth fixture since the 30s. I didn't think we'd make it, you know. In the and very beginning. Yeah, yeah, it was very difficult. Tough. You know, the sleepless nights, you know, when people come and they see the restaurant and they see the lines out the door, you might hear, oh, it must be nice to have a restaurant like this. Well, I remember when there was no lines, and I remember, how are we going to make the mortgage this month? Aiden, my son, is expediting. The Delaney's say family support and a drive to succeed help them push through those tough first years. It's the passion that gets you through it. Hi, folks. How's everything today? And the people, the customers. We have the same people come back year after year, and we get to know them. They get to know us. They know my kids. I know their kids. So it's really a nice family restaurant tradition. Though the menu has evolved over the years, traditional Cape Cod favorites remain the foundation. Very proud of our clam chowder. We won um, the Boston Cape Cod and Newport Chowder Festival. But wait a minute, there's something different about this award-winning chowder. The best chowder in the Cape Cod. Our clam chowder was so good that you know, we decided that how can we take it to the next dimension and there's only one thing you can do is that you can fry it. Um, fry, fry, fry again. <laughs> when we start serving that, people were just, first They're of all, the traditionalists would yeah. be, you know, why would you do that? Why would you fry clam chowder? This is, you know, sacrilege. And we were breaking all the rules. But once people bit into it, they loved it. A revolutionary taste in a classic location. You have Nantucket Sound that's right across uh, the way from us here. And Beautiful beaches. Yeah, Parker's River Beach right there and um, swing sets right there. And, and actually, my father was only asking me the other day, he said, you hear that squeakiness on the swing? You want me to go over there and put <laughs> some WD-40 on it? And I said, hold off that because I love that sound. That sound to me of the squeakiness and the creakiness is the kids the laughing. Having fun. And that's that to me is kind of the summer Cape Cod. Let's go. And we are happy to say the Skipper Chowder House was finally able to open for its 84th season. As of last week, they have begun takeout service and are now welcoming guests for outdoor dining in accordance with current regulations, of course. In addition to that fried clam chowder and the kind that comes in a bowl, Skipper is also known for its lobster rolls. Up next, a unique roadside attraction.